we receive things spiritually all the time. So when we honor something and we celebrate it, we connect to that energy. I think when we talk about purpose, purpose is understanding both why I'm here and what my intention is, living with purpose and actually doing something intentionally. So when you start to look at the rhythms of nature and the rhythms of life and you intentionally tune into them, they start to wake you up. You start to get woken up spiritually, emotionally, you know, just your whole being. Yeah. And I, I, it's interesting because I think, you know, so many of us, certainly because we're in the American Christian South, right? We're in Nashville. Um, <laughs> it's like part of the buckle of the Bible Belt, oh, right? Yeah. Um, Christianity is so very much a part, certainly of, of my upbringing and then the upbringing of hundreds of thousands of people around me in this town. Mm -hmm. And so just almost the idea even of beginning to acknowledge spirituality in any other culture or any other religion feels very provocative. Oh yeah. Um, how do you begin to address that or help someone awaken to the a mere idea that there is good and spirituality in some other practice other than maybe how you were raised? I would say the tenets that Christ left us with, love everyone, love your neighbor, love your enemy. He didn't necessarily say love yourself. He said, love all these other people, love the external. And so we have to define what is love. It's curiosity. Love is finding honor, finding light, finding beauty and other things. So I can still be a Christian and say, I'm going to celebrate and honor, even though I'm not Jewish, uh, Passover or Purim or Holi, which is a Hindu festival that's going on right now. Ostar, which is the vernal equinox that's happening tomorrow. I can still honor them respectfully. But when I do that, because I'm approaching it with a sense of love, I open up to, to the beauty of it to the message that it has for me. Hmm. That's what living in purpose is, living in love.